Hi, welcome to my kitchen. Today we are going to see how to make the lentil curry. A very Maharashtrian style. Here I have one cup of lentils and one cup of rice. To that I'm going to add two measures of water. This is a really super quick recipe and we are going to pressure cook both in the rice cooker. So pretty much our lunch or dinner is ready. Alright, I'm going to set it to 8 minutes and that should be good enough. For this we are going to take two spring onions one tomato and about six garlic cloves my lentils are already ready and boiled to that I am going to um, add my usual seasoning with mustard seeds and oil there let's chop our garlic cloves you can chop them just lengthwise also they are really tasty that way and even just um, thinly diced or crush it and add to the seasoning roughly chop the tomatoes not too uh, small dice just medium And if it would be the authentic way of making it, I won't be adding spring onion and tomatoes. It will be just the regular onion and the garlic cloves. Alright, our pan is ready. I have added 2 tablespoons of oil. To that, mustard seeds, asafoetida and turmeric. And along with that, the goda masala that we talked about, which I am going to come up soon with the recipe and put it online for everybody okay, the seeds are crackling and to that I'm going to add asafoetida about half teaspoon turmeric the same measure and one teaspoon of masala you can add it cumin and coriander powder to that in the seasoning goes the tomatoes let's give it a quick stir and I'm going to add the salt only that um, our dal is going to need so I will be adding the salt separately let's mash up the dal and to that I'm going to add one measure of water to this recipe we will not add the jaggery right away we are going to only add it later on okay salt goes in for our tomatoes and spring onion and i'm also going to add a little bit of sugar to bring out the flavor let's give it a quick stir really super simple recipe as you can see there is nothing Too much of a procedure required just a couple of minutes give it a stir and add in the lentils the rest of the water goes in i'm going to add a little bit more water now another cup or so And you can add a little bit more or you can just even have it without adding the water so it will be like a thick uh, lentil sabji instead of a curry now that was sitting on the stove top for about three four minutes i'm going to add jaggery to that that will bring out the very nice sweet and uh, spicy flavor we can add um, the red chili powder as well I'm not adding that in here but you can oh, just a little bit I'm showing a whole heap full of it but I'm not going to add so much 
so great so looks like we are all ready to go with the curry and thank you so much for watching i will come up with my another video and meet you all soon till then enjoy making it and let me know how it comes out for you thank you enjoy